Hello. Thought we'd try something different today. A bit of a walk through with the Waverly Abbey. Uh, I'm doing some, trying some voiceover. See how we like this. Uh, Waverly Abbey. Uh, this is the original Waverly Abbey. There is a, a new one, a current one, that apparently is still in business, but it's uh, behind us and we never got close enough to see it. Uh, but uh, anyway, to our left is the nave of the old cathedral. Uh, well, there's a big grassy field, but it was at one time the nave. Uh, what we're walking towards here is an outbuilding that was just south of the nave. Uh, the nave, as many of us hopefully know, is where the normal people would attend services. Uh, the altar and stuff up front towards the top of the front and the main part, that was all you know, monk and priest only, no lay people. They got to hang out in the nave. Uh, but, you know, so obviously that was a cool part of the, uh, the cathedral. I'm going to do a bit of a, a loop here in just a moment to kind of get a bit of a lay of the land. And uh, the uh, abbey used to extend off in that direction where a brew house was, because, of course, monks and beer is the safest way to, at the time, uh, cleanse your water. Uh, now, thankfully, we have activated charcoal to make it clean for us. But, uh, we're going to accelerate here through the cloister because it's a big space and uh, just because uh, back there was uh, the nave. What we're looking at here is the south transept of the uh, old cathedral. Uh, this here where the pond is, that was the chapter house. Uh, now it's pond because of the rain. Uh, I'm not sure what this little covered area was, but we're going to go through because it looks uh, looked interesting, a bit mucky, but uh, made it through okay. Uh, off to our left again is the south transept. The transept is, when you remember the, look at the old cathedral, you know, cross-shaped building, that was one of the arms uh, in this, of uh, the, the cross. This, in this case, the south transept is the south arm on the right from the nave looking up to the front. Uh, and again we have the chapter house back. Now we're looking at the inside of the south transept. Uh, those uh, little, little spires sticking up are actually the outside of the frames, of the windows, that uh, used to go in that space to allow in light because you know, Obviously, didn't have electric lighting back in. Uh, when was this created? Uh, 1128, when the Abbey was founded. I'm going to speed over to the north transept. Not a lot of it left. This is a low wall, about six feet tall, but yeah, still. Uh, actually, this part of the cathedral, uh, this cathedral actually, this was built in the 1200s, I believe. Came along later. Took about 20 years to build the monk priest. We're going to do another acceleration here. Uh, who started the construction, unfortunately died before it was finished, but it was finished and uh, stood until King Henry VIII decided he uh, wanted the wealth and lands and said, This is mine, after he told the Pope to uh, take a hike and founded the Church of England. Uh, here we are approaching the monk's dormitory. Uh, at least that's what they're, they suspect it is. Uh, evidence points to that. Uh, the odd part is that this was uh, ground floor. Typically, uh, at the time, the monks would stay on the first floor, which over here in England is the, the one above ground, the, the next one above the ground. We call it the second floor in the States. They call it the first floor because it's the first one above the ground. Uh, the ground floor being the one on the ground. Uh, and uh, heading out to uh, this was the. Now we're, now we're walking through the monks' refectory. Uh, this is where uh, monks ate, typically. Uh, Regular diet being meals of vegetables, beans, and bread, washed down with beer. Uh, 
Obviously, uh, vegetable is easier to grow than animals. Plus, you know, the king you know, getting his choice of animals. What we're approaching here now is the uh, West Range. Uh, Lay Brothers, they say. Oh, uh, this is where I don't know if people have to do a bit of a fade there because there were, as we'll see here in a moment, uh, I paused the uh, recording so as to check with the couple of people here that were doing a photo shoot. I wanted to make sure I wasn't going to disturb them as I walked through with the camera. They said it was cool. Uh, but this is West Range. We're in the, uh, the uh, uh, undercroft of uh, a building where uh, along with monks and priests, they were they call lay brothers. I'm guessing they were not yet monks, but they were working their way there. Uh, they would live and work in the, the abbey to help maintain you know, the farming and the, the building and do the stuff that was, uh, I guess, whatever they were told. Um, this is where uh, they would stay, probably upstairs, maybe you know, downstairs. Mm. And uh, we're going to speed up here again for a little bit to go around the outside. Probably the most complete, uh, other than the monk's dormitory, the most complete part of what's left of the, the abbey. Uh, a couple hundred years ago, it was much more impressive, the ruins. But you know, time takes its toll and makes everything shorter. But still, considering the fact that uh, the place is, uh, in some cases, 700 years old, the fact that some of it is still standing at all, I can't, I can't stand impressive. So we're going to wrap it up here. Hopefully you, uh, everybody enjoyed this little video walkthrough.